Langridge. I'm Nate, one of the pastors at Faith Lutheran Church on Lake Otis Parkway. You know, I've been doing these weekly videos, Anchored in Hope, since September. And I always start with the same introduction. I'm Nate, one of the pastors at Faith Lutheran Church. Well, if you've been wondering where this church is, here we are. 5200 Lake Otis Parkway, yep, on one of these busy streets here in uh, Anchorage, right across from the YMCA on Lake Otis Parkway. And what do you think of when you think of the word church? What is a church to you? For a lot of people, it's this. A building. Yep, we have a building. Faith Lutheran Church is going on 54 years here in the Anchorage area. And just like any other building, we've got our maintenance and our repairs going on. But really, the church is more than a building. The church is actually about people. That's the way the Apostle Paul describes the church when he wrote a letter to people who were gathering to study God's Word in the city of Corinth almost 2,000 years ago. This is how he described them in 1 Corinthians chapter 1. To the church of God in Corinth, to those sanctified in Christ Jesus and called to be holy, together with all those everywhere who call on the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, their Lord and ours, grace and peace to you from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. You see, Paul didn't describe the church as a building. He said it was people, people who have been sanctified by God. What that means is that they've been set apart by God to become part of his family. They've been called to be holy, and they in turn call on the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. In other words, they believe in Jesus, that Jesus lived and died and rose again to save them. And they call on Jesus as their Savior. The church is about people. Now, I don't know what your experience has been with Christian churches. I know there have been some who have been abused by the Christian church and sometimes have been hurt by churches that call themselves Christian, but don't truly reflect the love of God for people. And as a result, I've had conversations with people just like you who maybe feel the church isn't for them. They've been hurt and they have walked away. But allow me to make a comparison. If you like pizza, just because you've had some bad pizzas over the years, pizzas that are taste like cardboard, does that mean that you give up your love for pizza? No, it means that you search for places that are that do pizza right. P places like Guido's and Moose's Tooth that do high-quality, good-tasting pizza. Perhaps you had a favorite baseball team in your youth, and after many years of being one of their biggest fans, that baseball team let you down. They made some foolish and silly trades, and their, their years went horrible. Maybe they had some players that were not good role models. They hurt you as a fan. Does that mean you give up your love for baseball? No, it means that maybe you switch teams. You find a team that loves baseball as much as you do. Can I use that example for the church? I understand that some churches, some pastors who call themselves Christian maybe have hurt you. They've abused their power. They've not treated you well. That doesn't mean to give up your love for God and His love for you. It means it'll take some work to find a church that teaches God's love correctly. 
securely and leads you to your Savior Jesus so that you can be anchored in hope, that hope of heaven, the hope of eternal life. If you are looking for a church, if you've been hurt by a church in your past, let me invite you to try out Faith Lutheran Church. Here you will find a group of people. It's not about the church. It's about the people. From our pastors to our preschool teachers and all of our members, the young families and the old, who want nothing less than to give you the grace and peace that comes from God and from our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. We are alive in Christ, and we want to share that life in Christ with you. Reach out to us if you're hurting. Give us a chance to offer you some comfort, some peace, some love, and some hope, so that you too can be anchored in hope. Jesus is with you. Jesus does love you. I look forward to next time.